in a picturesque village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests, lived a man named Alastair. He was known far and wide for his extraordinary skills in carpentry, crafting the most intricate and beautiful furniture pieces. Alastair's creations were in high demand, and he could have amassed great wealth from his talents. But he had a different perspective on success. Alastair believed that true success was not measured by accolades or riches, but by the positive impact one had on the lives of others. He believed that each act of kindness, no matter how small, could create a ripple effect that spread far and wide. One fine morning, as Alastair was crafting a magnificent oak table, a young boy named Leo approached his workshop. Leo was curious and eager to learn the art of carpentry. Alastair saw the spark in the boy's eyes and decided to take him under his wing. For years, Alastair patiently taught Leo the craft, nurturing his passion and talent. They not only spent time perfecting the art of woodworking but also shared stories, dreams, and laughter. Over time, Leo's skills grew immensely, and he began to create masterpieces that rivaled even Alastair's finest work. One day, Alastair fell seriously ill. The news spread throughout the village, and people from all around came to visit him. Among the visitors was a rich merchant named Amara. He had heard of Alastair's unparalleled skills and believed that by owning one of Alastair's creations, he would attain the highest form of success. As Alastair lay weak in his bed, Amara approached him and said, I've heard of your remarkable work, and I would like to purchase your finest piece. Name your price, and I'll pay whatever it takes. Alastair weakly smiled and said, Thank you for your offer. But I'm afraid I have nothing to sell. All my creations are meant to be shared and appreciated by those who need them. True success, my friend, lies not in the riches we amass, but in the lives we touch. Amara was taken aback by Alastair's words. He couldn't comprehend how someone could reject the fortune for their work. However, Alastair's message lingered in his mind, and he left the village deep in thought. Meanwhile, Leo had been overseeing Alastair's projects and continuing his legacy. He had become an inspiration to many young apprentices, teaching them not only the art of woodworking but also the importance of kindness and humility. Word of Leo's impact reached Amara, who had been on a journey of self-discovery. He realized that his pursuit of wealth had left him empty and unfulfilled. He returned to the village, seeking Leo's guidance. Amara expressed his desire to contribute positively to the world and asked Leo how he could make a difference. Leo smiled warmly and said, True success isn't about what you possess, but about the lives you touch. Alastair taught me that. Let's work together to create something that benefits the entire community. And so, Amara and Leo embarked on a joint venture. They used Amara's wealth to build a carpentry school where underprivileged children could learn the art of woodworking. The school became a hub of creativity, learning, and kindness. Many children who had once felt forgotten or overlooked discovered their talents and potential. As the years passed, the village transformed. The once sleepy town now thrived with compassion, unity, and purpose. And it all began with Alastair's belief that true success was measured by the lives one touched. Alastair passed away, knowing that his legacy would live on through the ripples of kindness and positivity that he had initiated. His creations, once admired for their beauty, became symbols of a deeper message, that the impact we make on others' lives defines our true success. And so, the village stood as a testament to the fact that accolades and wealth may come and go. But the lives we touch, the kindness we spread, and the positive change we create, these are the measures of true success that endure through time.